Thank you very much to Mr. Damani's class from Voyager Academy who have requested this video on alpha, beta and gamma radiation and their properties. Gorilla physics! <laughs> So this is my demonstration of alpha, beta and gamma and the differences between them and I think it's a really good visualisation of the differences which are based on their ionisation properties and based on their penetration properties. So my lovely assistant Miss Wells here is holding up a barrier, okay, so that's going to allow us to visualise the penetration properties and behind the barrier are some empty bottles which are acting like skittles which if they get knocked over, we're saying it's been ionized, and an ionization is when an atomic structure has been changed. So if you like, you can think about this as, well, how dangerous is each one? Because this is just the layer of dead skin cells on the outside of our body, kind of protecting us from these radiations. And these are the cells, if you like, or the atoms within the cells inside the body. Okay, so you need to know and be able to compare the, diff the three different types of radiations because of their ionization potential and their penetrating power. So this first one is the biggest one, it's the alpha particle. An alpha particle is much more massive than the other two. It's made of two protons and two neutrons. It's a helium nucleus. But we're not too worried about that in general as long as it stays outside our body because if you can see, if it doesn't get in because it's so big it isn't going to go ahead and ionize the particles behind. But if it was to get inside the body, let's say due to a cut or something, you can see it's got pretty ionizing effects, pretty devastating effects. So as long as our alpha emitters are outside of our body, we don't worry too much about them. But when they get inside, they can do a lot of damage. Beta next. So the next type of radiation is beta radiation, alpha, beta. Um, beta radiation are, beta particles are fast moving electrons. So they're much, much, much less massive than the alpha particle. They're, they've got um, a tiny amount of mass or, or sometimes in GCSE we talk about them as having no mass really. Okay, certainly compared to a proton or a neutron they've got very, very, very little mass. But they do have high energy. So um, they can ionize um, the atoms and they, they are quite penetrating because of their size. They're much, much smaller. Um, they have half of the charge and they have a negative charge. So they are half as ionizing as the alpha particle was. Now, I hope you can see the idea here. The analogy is that they will, some of them at least, will go through any barrier and do some ionizations but even if they get through they're not very ionizing certainly not as ionizing as the individual alpha particles were in the previous one but they don't didn't all get through they're not as penetrating as the next type of radiation which is gamma radiation Okay, the last type of radiation to tell you about is gamma radiation. Gamma radiation isn't actually a particle at all. It's actually a wave. This is my very own hair dryer. This is uh, what I use every morning. Gamma is an electromagnetic wave. It's very, very high frequency and therefore very, very high energy electromagnetic radiation, just like light. So I hope you get the point why are we using the hairdryer to model that? Because it's the most penetrating of them, but it's the least ionizing. So in fact, if we get ourselves far enough away from gamma, the intensity is going to be so low that we're hardly going to get any ionizations at all. But you can see, I hope, that it does make it through any barrier. Yeah, it does make it through the skin here. And eventually, and especially if we're very close to it, it will be very ionizing indeed. But because it is not charged, 
Because it doesn't have a charge, it's not a charged particle, it's nowhere near as ionizing as the other two types, the alpha and beta. I hope that helps you visualize in the three types of radiation. I really hope it helps. I've got a much more detailed video on radiation that I'll put a little link to, and I've got an AQA P2 um, exam uh, run through that I'll put a link to as well. Best of luck for the exam season, but you won't need luck because I know you'll be working really, really hard. I know Voyage is an amazing school with amazing students, so go for it, kids. Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share, and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.